Title chasing Monaco, welcome Marseille to the Stade Louis Doux on Saturday afternoon, again with the chance to climb top of the table. Leonardo Jardim's men had provisionally gone top last Friday with a 3-0 win at Lorient, and with Nice and PSG not in action until Sunday, they had another opportunity to turn up the heat on their title rivals. Marseille were hoping to build on last week's first league win since Rudy Garcia took the reins, but could OM keep out their hosts with a Europe-high 39 league goals in just 13 games? Well, Johan Pelle is happy to see Bernard Silva's attempt to grab number 40 go wide. An early warning for the former Lille and Roma coach, but one his team didn't heed. Gabriel Boschilia would be booked for his vibrant celebration, but no wonder his delight at a quite stunning set piece. The fourth of the season, third free kick, somewhat of a specialist. Marseille managed to shut out PSG in Garcia's first game, but there was no repeat of that defensive strength. Valère Germain with his first goal since week 10. Great play by Bernard Silva, a classy operator. And with the outside of his left boot, finding a diminutive striker to head home past Pelé. Monaco really at their ruthless best. Germain with a great touch and finish to make it three. The brace means he has five goals in five games against OM, two while alone at Nice. Maramel Falcao might not have meant to find his strike partner, but he reacted brilliantly to find the bottom of the net. The Monaco beat Tottenham here to qualify for the last 16 of the Champions League. On course here for a fifth straight win in all competitions. 14 goals scored, just one conceded in the last four wins. Marseille in big trouble, on course for a fourth consecutive defeat at the Stade Louis Doux. Garcia would have been fuming at the break. OM did though show signs of life. But Florian Tovan's stab at the ball, not finding the net. Captain Radamel Falcao still yet to play a full 90 minutes. Guido Carrillo replaced him in the 73rd minute. But there was never a sense Marseille could threaten a major fight back, but they should have at least had a consolation. But Daniel Subasic was in no mood to be beaten, looking to secure a third straight clean sheet in Ligue 1. Marseille, though, couldn't keep it tight at the back, giving the ball away. And Germain denied a hat-trick. That was kudos to Carrillo for following in the ball. Standing captain Germain denied a first professional hat-trick of his career. But Carrillo in 10 appearances now scored five, one more than he managed in 31 appearances last season. Well, Marseille slipped to 12, 15 points below Monaco and that gulf in class was evident on the pitch. Monaco flying high as they show no signs of slowing down.